guys um i just wanted to create this little video for anyone that is uh stuck on a basic idea so i was kind of stuck on this for a while um only because i was looking at the big picture so for myself um i am creating a i'm gonna say okay on this so like this is a calculator this calculator is doing a bunch of different stuff so this single calculator um you can see how like all these relationships build this one calculator and what i need to do is build two other different types of calculators with different uh, values and layouts and numbers and tables and basically i was looking at the whole project as this instead of uh looking at it in a uh, layman's term. So my idea for creating the database that I'm working on is, is very large. And basically the, I'm getting to the point where I'm creating estimates. And when I create an estimate, um, I need to use a type of calculator for that estimate. So like the estimate I'm going to be viewing basically, or the, whoever's using the computer, um, in the office, uh, the the foreman will be, I'm going to click OK on this again, show you. So this is the full database. So I'm going to bring in that calculator that I just showed you, and then I'm going to work on uh, adding all of the stuff. But you can see how um, advanced all of my relationships are right now. And um, I was kind of getting stumped on a little part with... Uh, allowing different types of calculators on one estimate. But it's actually super simple once I uh, sim simplified it down for myself and looked at the big picture. So basically what I want to do is this inspection has been completed and the foreman has told me like, we will need to redo the entire roof with a TPO material and single ply. Okay, great. So I want to create an estimate and now I get to choose what type of calculator um, I will be using this for this, uh, this um, estimate so I can complete this inspection. So uh, since my foreman told me we're using TPO material, I'm gonna go in and use the TPO calculator by creating a new estimate. So later on, I'm gonna wanna view every single estimate, but I'm gonna wanna see what calculator was used on that estimate. So in order to do that, um, I knew that I had to create a type of join relationships, but I wasn't really sure on how to go about doing that by uh, different types of calculators. So uh, in the past project that I've worked on, um, when you're joining tables, usually like this would be a product and then this would be like a vendor. Like you can buy this one product from multiple different types of vendors. Uh, but um, instead of this being vendors, these were different types of calculators like cap Calculator one is multiplying, calculator two is adding, Calcul calculator three is dividing. Um, so what I did was um, I made one estimate table, uh, one estimate table currents, and then I made a uh, join table. So I'm joining an estimate with whichever calculator that I'm using. And then within each calculator, I have a global variable which stores a data field a data value of calculator one and then the same thing for calculator two the global var variable is calculator two and then the global variable for calculator three is um calculator three so then we bring in all those three different types of calculators and our join table now will be basically storing the id of an estimate so when we create um, when we go to create a calculator, we need to store um, that uh, estimate ID in the estimate IDFK field. So now we know that uh, this estimate ID, let's say estimate ID one, is also related to like let's say calculator ID five. So we created a calculator layout under calculator one using uh, calculator ID five, and we're relating that to the in, uh, the estimates. And then later on, so this table here is not is a join relationship, but it's not related to any uh, any other uh, table occurrences or just tables by themselves. So this uh, this table up here 
it, this table up here is actually um, showing all the data of all three of these table occurrences under the single table source joint estimate calculators. So that when I want to view a list now, I did not create a list button on here, but um, under my list estimates, I can see every single estimate and I can see which calculator was used for that estimate. And then um, each calculator, um, I'm storing the calculator ID of K and the, I'm sorry, the calculator ID and the calculator ID of K field of the join estimates and calculators table. So now that I know, now that this layout or this, um, this uh, row uh, knows that, hey, this estimate, uh, this estimate second test was made today um, using calculator two or calculator one, and um, it was under the calculator one record number two. So when I click review, I'm going to go to ID number two under the calculator one layout. If I go back to the list and let's say calculator three, I'm going to go to the calculator three layout uh, going to record number one. So you can see calculator number three under calculator ID number one for calculator three because um, calculator three has its own records. Calculator two will have its own records. Calculator one will have its own records. Now I'm basically I'm just storing all that data uh, within a list view. And all of these types will never change because they're all global variables within the uh, table themselves. So those values will never change. And um, you can never, uh, basically, you can lock up your database to make it where you can't change this once it's been set in stone. So that when you do your review button, under my review button, I have uh, if statements just so basically what we need to do right away is once we click this button within this uh, record it's going to store that calculator ID of K because um, we need to know which record we're going to and then after we know which record we're going to we need to do that on the correct layout so in order to do that on the correct layout um, you need to read the type so if the type calculator is number one, uh, obviously we're going to go to the layout calculator one. We're going to enter find mode and we're going to set field calculator one ID to uh, the variable that we set in the very beginning calculators ID, which is stored here. And uh, it performs the find and it takes you exactly where you want to go. And you can do that for every calculator. If the calculator type equals two or three, then go to calculator two layout or calculator three layout. So um, that's a very uh, rundown basic solution on how to join multiple uh, multiple calculators tables to um, a single uh, a single estimate by using multiple join tables. So that's uh, that's how you do this, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will link I will leave a link in the description below for you to download this database. Super simple. All these calculators are just basically, I can go to do a new estimate here and let's create a new record. And I'm gonna type in YouTube, um, YouTube tests for viewers. And let's say um, I wanna use calculator number uh, three. So I go to the layout calculator number three. It creates a new record for me automatically it's storing in my join record for, so this join record for calculator three is using the join estimates calculator three, and it's storing the ID of that estimate that I just created with the name uh, uh, YouTube testing for viewers. So it stored that estimate ID, so I know which estimate this is related to, and it's storing which calculator that I'm using. And uh, basically this calculator is just dividing so i'm going to take number 10 divided by two to get five so here i'm just going to say uh 10 divided by two equals five for that name so now if i go to my estimating list you can see uh youtube testing for viewers i use calculator three and under the calculator three layout i use the record number two so if i want to go to calculator uh three of number one 
I'm here, calculator three of record number one, using uh, five divided by four to get uh, 1.25. We go to the estimating list, calculator three, record two, uh, 10 divided by two equals five, is which we created. So very basic when you uh, think of your database in sim simple terms and nothing so uh, big and large to emit, to basically scare you away. So now looking at it this way, I completely understand what I'm doing and I know the direction on where I need to go with uh, building my database and finishing it up for what I wanted to do. I hope you guys learned something here new today. Please like, comment, and subscribe for this video. Um, I don't post a lot of FileMaker content, but when I do, uh, I like to share stuff that's not really out there yet um, and hard to find on the forum. So basically, um, I post a lot of different types of content on my channel, but you can learn a lot watching my videos uh, on things that aren't really out there just yet. So thanks you, thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.